bounties to protect. It's a needle in a haystack problem for these guards. Saba and the Cubs are in the marsh plan. And they've got company. The Cubs carefully watch their arch enemy. The beast they've been trained to one day take down on their very own. Buffalo are the prime's fatal attraction. They raised meal, but they come with a high price tag. As the nomads discovered, buffalo are equipped with a lethal stampede strategy. Apart from their deadly horns, they're also built with a homicided heart, a living battering ram. But Saba knows she can't confidently hunt one down with her enemy. If the males were around to contribute to the hunt, she wouldn't hesitate. Her hearty meal will have to wait a little longer. After being chased out of the spot by the jackals, Nikita moves to a new hunting area. She's on her endless pursuit for something bigger and meatier. Guinea fowl. They're plump, slow, and grow. Conditions are in Nikita's favor. The fox preoccupied with the window, and she's got good cover. But the guinea fowl have an especially quick takeoff, so Nikita's got to get close enough to stop them. A spotted coat helps her blend into the dappled environment. The is a much higher bank, just 18 meters from the water. Rather than stalking through the trees, the cutter's plan is to approach the flock from below, using the bank as cover. The plan is to pounce before their quick vertical takeoff. Expert leopard crawl gets her at the bank. But she's got to take whatever Zavuti will give her. A feathered fist is better than none. still in the woodland. Saba and her cubs are especially hungry. With the males still away, they're sitting tight. And worse, the nomads step in again. And penetrate deeper into Marsh Pride territory. Their confidence is up, and they're headed straight for the herd, this time in full daylight. The buffalo sense there's danger, but the tall lime-colored grass camouflages the nomad's advances. They close in on a straggler.
The lion doesn't get a good enough grip on the buffalo's hind quarters and is easily shaken off. The herd closes ranks. A reminder of how impenetrable a buffalo herd can be. There's a silver lining, though. The buffalo is injured from the initial attack. This buffalo is not going far with a torn tendon. A hunting strategy has landed in the nomads' laps, and they know it. To clinch the deal, they'll rely on their customary cover, the dark. Saba and her cubs track the same herd. Their hunger is overpowering, and she can't wait for the males any longer. A daytime hunt will be tough, but there are calves in this herd, and that's a good enough invitation. This is the cub's first buffalo hunt, and their safety is her priority. The stakes are high here. She must read the enemy's movements precisely. takes cover behind Saba, but it won't do any good. Without the cover of night, they'll hide in the Mapana trees. Their strategy is to position herself and the cubs in an arc, and then move in. The buffalo won't know where the attack is coming from. They'll flee in different directions. The chaos will leave the calves most vulnerable. The use of cover in the woodland zone is critical.